here's an idea that will revolutionize your art making. Start to do a drawing and see if a part of you can observe the part of you that's doing the drawing. Think about what are the decisions you're making? How are you holding the pen? How much time are you spending looking at your subject versus the time that you're spending drawing? Are you working on one part of the drawing and then you're jumping to another? When are you getting bored and distracted? When does the, the monkey, that critic in your head, start to show up? And so on. Keep this observation up for 10 or 15 minutes and really see how it is you draw. What's the process like? Don't judge whether it's right or wrong. Don't try to change your process as you're observing it. But when you're done, write down some of those things that you saw. Think about all of these observations and what they're revealing about your approach to drawing. Focus less on the results, the, the piece of paper, and think more about the process, the, the act of making those lines. What's going on in your mind? What's going on in your body? How has it been moving? What is your process? Let this experience be relaxing and, and flowing. It can be so calming to just quietly observe without judgment. Enjoy that and just let it flow. It'll probably be apparent from this observation what changes you could make to your process. Think about some of those results that you'd like and imagine, not in words, but in feelings and, and feelings in your body, what those changes might feel like. Now that you know some of the changes that you'd like to make and you've experimented with, with trying to feel those changes, look for examples of artists who seem to have those qualities that you aspire to. Perhaps it's more consistent cross-hatching or a more expressive line or a more realistic style or a better use of color. Now, go and watch those artists as they work. Find videos of them. Come to Sketchbook School where we have lots and lots of recordings of artists drawing. But watch these demonstrations several times over. Don't feel like you have to, to intellectualize or even verbalize what they're doing. Simply watch it as an indication of the way that they're feeling, their physicality, their approach, and allow it all to so soak into you. Watch it like like a baby watches her parents over and over until it becomes part of who you are. Experiment with different physical feelings as you draw. Try drawing long, bold lines. Try drawing small, very tight and precise squares. Hatch lines from left to right and then from right to left. Experiment with blind contours and allow your, your eyes and your hands to to work in tandem rather than, than course correcting each other. Drawing is a physical activity and you need to train your body and your brain and you need to, they need to learn to trust each other. Your, your brain needs to, to know and allow your body to do, innately do what it knows how to do already without telling it, do this, that was wrong. Allow yourself to, to feel the flow, the natural movement that your hands want to make. And the more you do that, the more you repeat this exercise, the smoother and more confident this whole mechanism is going to become. So avoid judging and correcting, or your efforts are going to be so self-conscious that you're going to just trip over yourself. Don't judge. Don't worry. Don't think. Just feel and draw. I promise it's going to change the game. Hey, this essay is based on one that I wrote for my thousands of subscribers. I send out a free essay every Friday, and you can get it too if you just go to, well, dannysessays.com and uh, sign up. And I will write things about drawing, things about the creative process, things about writing, things that are on my mind that I think will resonate with you. Sign up, and in the next couple of days, you'll get the very first one. Hope you do.